Hi everybody, it's Miss Samantha, the Ecology Guide at Low Country Montessori School. And I just wanted to give you a quick update on the Gulf fritillaries and the passion vine. Basically, they've eaten all of it. So, they've eaten every last leaf. Like, some of them are still here, but all they have left to eat are the fruits and um, the actual stems. So the fruits must be harder to eat for them because they have to go through the rind. Because if you notice, they didn't eat the fruits, um, which kind of surprised me. But lots of passion fruits. Um, all strewn about. They're actually ripe, ready to be eaten. That's the color that you're looking for. Now make sure that you're actually eating a passion fruit because there's other things with yellow berries but they're not that size and they're not that shape. They're very light and airy inside. And if you pull them apart, they have little juice encapsulated seeds that you can also eat. You can put them in a blender so we're walking all this way. We talked about how they're over there at the Learning Center, but a lot of them also came over here. Look at those in bloom. This is called Swamp Sunflower. It's native sunflower. Um, we have this little Gulf Fritillary feeding on this plant, which is called Mexican Clover. Um, and you can use that as a lawn. You can grow it in your lawn and mow it, and it still blooms really low like that. Um, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys over here in Mr. Jordan's new classroom that there are chrysalises everywhere. They're just, they like the building. They like, they seem to like things that are smooth with um, sharp edges. They like sharp edges that they can attach their little silk to. So you can see this one is farther along. It has different colors and um, it's alive and this one has kind of a reddish color now these are all golf fritillaries and you can tell from the shape so um, they're very camouflage like a little piece of bark and they have ooh, sorry these like two um, horns or something. I mean, that's not what they are, but that's just what they look like. Um, and we have other, you know, chrysalises around. I have found a lot of sulfur butterfly chrysalises. You can look here. They really like this edge of the turtle enclosure. There's a monarch chrysalis that's hatched. The cool thing is, is they look bright green, but then as they develop, you realize they're actually clear like a window. So the caterpillar has just turned its body into a bright green liquid, and that's why the chrysalis looks bright green. And then as it turns into a butterfly, you can see the black and red wings forming through this like chrysalis window. It's really amazing. The little gold dots are still there. Um, it's really hard to focus in on them but they're still there and then um miss martha saw this one hatch just yesterday that's the tip of a gulf fritillary the other um, part fell off but they actually have kind of like a door that opens like if you look really close a lot of them they have like a little compartment that just kind of opens up and then they crawl out and they're not going to look normal when they crawl out. Remember, they're in that little chrysalis, so they're kind of all tiny and deformed looking, but they, um, 
they have to wait a few hours and they pump all that blood from their abdomen into their wings and then they're ready to fly away. So they usually need somewhere they can hang when they get out of their chrysalis. That's why they like to hang their chrysalises and they don't just lie them on the ground. Anyways, there's so much happening here. There's soon to be more happening soon here at Hill Country Montessori School. We are excitedly awaiting your arrival.